to my channel so today I'm gonna to be talking about my eyelash extensions and if you are planning to get lash extensions what to expect all that good stuff this video is gonna be for beginners when it comes to lash extensions and I've only had them for a month but I'm going off of my experience and what people don't tell you before getting them so I hope you guys enjoy this video my hair right now like honestly ugh, I'm getting it done finally on the 27th of this month and I just can't wait because my roots have grown out, grown out so bad. I haven't gotten my hair done since January and my hairstylist is a very busy person so I literally have to book like two months in advance. So I apologize for my hair in this video. I'm going to look back on this video and I'm going to be like, oh my god, my hair. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm going to basically be telling you guys all about eyelash extensions in this video and um, explaining my experiences with them. So I've had them, like, I've had them for like a month now. I got this really cute notebook yesterday at Miniso, by the way. This is so off topic. Miniso is like a little Japanese dollar store type thing and I think that this notebook is so cute and it's going to be great to write my filming ideas and stuff in. So I did write notes. There's 10 things in here that you guys should know before getting lash extensions um, and 10 things I didn't necessarily know beforehand. I just want to say before I get this video started, thank you, all of you, for the support that you guys have shown to my channel lately. I am so thankful for all my new subscribers. Like, I think it's a little bit crazy and I hope you guys like my content. I upload videos twice a week. If you are not currently a subscriber, you're just finding me for the first time, please go ahead and click the subscribe button below. I'm currently cleaning my Alex drawers right now, so I'm going to be doing a giveaway every month for the rest of the year. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that and let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I didn't know before getting lash extensions is they actually trim your natural lashes. I was not aware of that. I literally thought that they would glue the extension to your normal eyelash like your natural eyelash and then kind of fill in the gaps and stuff like that to make them a little bit fuller but I didn't know that they actually had to trim your lashes they trim them about halfway at least for me they trimmed like half of my natural lashes and then they did the whole like extension process so that's what i didn't know about when she pulled out this like pink little razor thing it's like um she pulled out this like little razor thing and I kind of knew what it was. I'm like, oh shit, that thing's gonna trim my lashes. Like, I'm gonna have no lashes after I get them off. I have not taken them off yet. I got them filled like last week, I guess. Yeah, last week. So that's what I didn't know that they do, but they do trim your natural lashes. Number two, it takes two hours to do your first set of lash extensions, about two hours. And then after that, every time you get them filled, it takes about one and a half hours. So what my lash lady recommends is that you get them filled every two to three weeks, depending on how well your lashes stay. Some people's lashes don't stay as long as other people's lashes. It really depends on you and how you take care of them and you know your habits. For me, I did get them filled at the three week point. I didn't necessarily need to get them filled, I feel like. Like they were still very much there and there wasn't really a lot of lashes really missing. There was just on one eye. Because I did go swimming, I feel like there was like a portion on my left eye that was like a little bit sparse, but that's about it. They stayed on really well. Um, I had a little bit of wear on the edges because I am a side sleeper, which I'll get into later on. But for the most part, at the three week point, my lashes were still really, really very much there. But you don't want to wait too long between fills because your lashes, your lashes could like fall out, you know, basically. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> they're they're going to grow and your, your extensions are going to fall off. You don't want to wait too long, like I said, going back to get them filled. Otherwise, it's going to just take them longer. It's going to be more damaging to your lashes. And when you do decide to get rid of them completely, make sure you go to your lash lady to get them removed. Don't try to do them yourselves or anything like that. My lash lady, I don't know if this is with every single lash place that you go to but my lash lady in particular mentions that you shouldn't wet your face for 24 hours so that the glue and everything sets and sticks and everything like that and your lashes like actually stay 
so this was especially hard for me because I have really oily skin so having to just wash like I, I have a trick okay so I wash like half of my face so I wash from here down I didn't wash my forehead or anything the first time I got them I went on a road trip and I don't know if you guys are like me but when you go on a plane or in a car for a road trip your skin can just feel really gross afterwards and all you want to do is just shower and wash your face at least that's how it is for me like being stuck in a car for like six hours or longer your skin is gonna get greasy you know the windows are gonna be open and you're just gonna just feel really gross after so I had to I did not know that prior to getting them that you had to wait 24 hours before wetting your eyelashes so I just basically did the best I can I showered and I washed like the bottom half of my face so that's something to consider like I said I don't know if that's with every single lash place that you go to but I highly recommend it because I mean I haven't had a problem with my lashes not sticking you like her like 24 hour rule although <laughs> My eyes felt so gross in the morning. Oh my gosh. I'll get into that later on, okay? So number four, you got to keep them clean. So after 24 hours of not washing that area of your face, your eyes, especially for me or anybody with oily skin for that matter, if you have oily eyelids, it's just going to feel really uncomfortable in the morning. Like, ugh. I don't know how to explain it. It's really gross. You're going to get those little crusties in your eyes from when you wake up and everything. And it's just not going to feel good. So you got to make sure that you keep your eyelashes, your eyelids clean at all times. If you do wear makeup, make sure you clean your eyes, like your eyelids, with a gentle cleanser or anything like that. So I use a micellar water to take off my makeup. I do use a makeup wipe for the rest of my face, but for my eyes, I like to be really careful and just use a micellar water and that gets rid of any makeup residue on my eyes. So then after that, I will wash my lashes. Yes, you heard me, wash my lashes with an unscented soap because that's how I would clean all my piercings. I use unscented baby soap and I just feel like it just cleanses the area, gets rid of any just grossness that might be on your eyes. And you guys know, you guys know or you should know what your eyes look like what your eyelashes look like under a microscope and the things that could be living on your eyelashes it's pretty gross that's why you don't share mascaras but just make sure you just keep the area clean at least once a day wash your face at least once a day if not twice because i wash my face twice a day but make sure you at least are washing your face once a day because you don't want to get any kind of infection or anything so that's one thing to keep in mind Number five, lash combs are your best friend. They're going to be your best friend. I, when I was on my road trip, forgot to bring my lash comb with me. Not for the beginning part of my road trip, but when I stayed overnight at my auntie's house, we went swimming and all that stuff, and I did not have my lash comb. It was so bad because they kind of like go everywhere. They're just like your natural, they're just like hair or having hair extensions. They kind of just go everywhere and they just don't look as nice. So... Lash combs are your best friend. Take them with you everywhere because you never know where you might need them, when you might need them. So every time I wash my face or take a shower or anything, I make sure that I sort of dry them to the best of my ability with like a towel or something or a face cloth and then I comb them out. So I think that most salons and anybody that does your lashes will give you a lash comb. If not, you can get them at the drugstore for really cheap. So make sure you get those, um, you know, like those disposable mascara wands. Those are good for that too. So number six, if you are a side sleeper, you got to try your best to not sleep on your lashes. This is gonna sound so weird. I kind of sleep at an angle now. Like when I got anything pierced, like if I got any piercings in my ears, I would sort of have to sleep at an angle so that my face wasn't completely on the pillow and my ear wasn't completely on the pillow. I would sort of sleep at like an angle, if that makes sense. The corners of your extensions will come off faster if you are a side sleeper. So I know that's really hard for some people because Girl, I get it. I'm a side sleeper, so <laughs> it was really difficult, but I had to do it before with my piercings, so it wasn't too big of a deal. It's just kind of one of those things that's a little annoying because I cannot sleep on my back or on my stomach. That's, I can't. Number seven, you'll have 
some issues putting on eyeshadow for the first time or for the second time or <laughs> if you're not experienced with doing eyeshadow at all and you try it with eyelash extensions you're gonna have a little bit of a difficult time to do it I kind of got the hang of it, I guess. I was always really good at blending and really good at doing my eyeshadow, but I find that it's so tricky having eyelash extensions because you can't, you know, blend too hard because, you know, your eyelashes are just gonna go all over the place and you're gonna have to comb them out again. So you can't blend that hard. You can't really tug on your eyes or anything like that. So you just gotta be super, super careful when you're applying eyeshadow and when you're taking it off at night. Number eight. <laughs> Okay, so this is this one's kind of funny, but I it came to my mind the other day when I live in a place that it's super windy all the time. I call it the windy city of Canada because it's always windy here. I live in the prairies and it's just always windy and we have these random gusts of wind, windstorms and everything. When you're walking through a windstorm with eyelashes on, you're going to be a little bit terrified of them just ripping themselves off because I was and that's how it felt literally like they were just like about to come off so <laughs> my solution for that like I don't think that they're actually gonna come off but you can never be too careful you know like that would be really damaging to your lashes if you were in a windstorm and they just came off you know so for me my solution to that you don't wear glasses wear sunglasses you know if you do have glasses then you're not really gonna have an issue with that but you know glasses or sunglasses can kind of shield the wind a little bit but that's something to keep in mind because I really haven't tested the theory of going too far into a windstorm because it kind of freaked me out a little bit number nine if you like rubbing your eyes if you're an eye rubber <laughs> I don't recommend these at all for you because you can't rub your eyes whatsoever because what do you think is gonna happen? They're gonna all come off. It's so damaging to your natural lashes. But I feel like most of us that wear makeup don't really rub our eyes anyways because even if you're wearing mascara or eyeliner or eyeshadow, you can't really rub your eyes anyways because your makeup is just gonna go everywhere. So just be wary if you don't wear makeup at all and you're trying these for the first time, you cannot rub your eyes, okay? And number 10, the very last thing is the cost. Okay, so for me right now, I have the volume ones. I first started with the hybrids and then when I got them filled, uh, my lash lady changed them to the volume. She felt that it looked a lot better with my eye shape, so she changed it to volume and I cannot be happier. I really like the volume ones a lot better than the hybrids, but keep that in mind is the cost. So depending on where you go, definitely do your research. Don't go to any shady like like eyelash places you know you don't want to do that because you don't want to compromise quality for you know how how much money it's going to cost you because it's going to cost you more money in the long run if you decide to go with a cheaper alternative my lash lady is pretty decently priced she's the best price that i found um, and i did my research on her and the salon that she has very very clean everything is just very clean so her prices are pretty reasonable so she charges $65 for a set of volumes for hybrids they're $60 and for classics they're $55 and then every time you get them filled every three weeks it's another $50 so keep that in mind eyelashes can get very expensive very fast so I know a lot of places charge upwards of $200 a set of lashes the first time you get them done and then $30 to fill every single time after that. One thing that you got to keep in mind is the cost. You're probably going to be spending a lot of money on them in the long run. If you think about it, you're spending like what? Every three weeks you're spending $50 to get them filled. You're spending $50 a month on lashes. That's more than a dollar a day. So just one thing to keep in mind is that the cost and the fact that they do take time when they do fill them. It takes about an hour and a half, so it does take time and money. But regardless, I think that it's worth it. I really, really love them right now. Um, I will probably get them taken off eventually, probably towards the winter time because I don't really go out as much. Um, you know, I'm at work most of the time in the winter, so I don't really see a need to just have them for work or just have them for filming. Um, I think it's more seasonal for me because I do more stuff in the summer, I take more pictures, all that up until my birthday and then the Christmas season. But after that, I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to take them off, give them a break a little bit, and then I might get them again next summer, you know. So 
that's pretty much it. That's all 10 things people don't really tell you before getting lash extensions. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone. Baby, you my everything. You all I ever wanted. We could do it real big. Bigger than you ever done it. You be up on everything. Other hoes ain't never.